Hi everybody, happy Easter. <sighs> so, he's picking me up at around the one o'clock. <sighs> I'm gonna get dressed. Should clean off my table. Look at it, it's like ugh. Catch you later. Date and the time and what that is giving me. Christ our Savior rose from the dead and is now seated at the right hand of God. With praise and thanksgiving, let us all... Hi guys, um, yeah, I checked, um, Shaylee's Google Photos and she didn't, uh, film anything yet. I predicted that might happen, you know, if she sits with an older adult that doesn't know technology wise like we do like the 21st century people and our hobbies and stuff they won't let us do what we like to do so at least i am watching um church on youtube yeah i remember back in 2006 when i went to church with mom and sat with her and pull up my camera she's like put that away that's what i'm talking about so maybe that's what her dad did to her this morning i'm just thinking to myself right now on what happened you know but yeah dad is picking me up soon You can help me. Have you heard the Lieutenant Lachlan's phone call triggers an extraordinary reaction. I was fading. I know that I started. <laughs> church at St. Mary's because I didn't want to get yelled at. So I filmed just a little bit of the um, architecture of the church. It's pretty. They have some vine paintings up on the ceiling. I took a picture of that. It reminds me of the vine paint, vine drawings that I do. Yeah. So the mass was in Latin. It was my dad grew up with that, but um, I didn't. So I didn't understand a word. And it was two hours long. Jeez, I don't think I could sit in church that long. God, there's so many kids around screaming and crying and everything. I can't blame them, the poor little dears. It's hard sitting in church that long. So my dad's car is sick, so he couldn't drive us to St. Michael's. 
So we had to go to St. Mary's instead. It's a Latin mass. <laughs> I have to get myself a veil. <laughs> well, I'm going to go now. I'm going to be going with Nora and her dad to Whiskey River to have a nice Easter feast. So happy Easter, everyone. Peace out. Fresh and soft earth, fresh shovel marks. Could this be what they were looking for? The dogs first come through here and they go immediately to this pine tree here and they alert on the pine tree. From here, they go to this area where there, there was a grave. Detective Young takes charge of the crime scene. I'd taken some tools for my, for my vehicle and, uh, and dug down a little bit and searched and I could feel um, basically an arm or I could feel skin underneath. The forensic dig. Mm, yeah. Wanna catch me hugging my aunt. <laughs> Regular Pepsi. And, and just give it to me in a can. Oh, we got Care Bears too. 
I like the grumpy Care Bear. I'm a dinosaur. I'm a dinosaur. I like the hedgehogs too. That piece. I wonder if uh, Phil's in has the Easter brunch. Do you think so? Will Jackie work? Once and you get tired, yeah. that's all you want to do, especially with drinking too. You drink a beer. I had a coughing fit. Jeez, I hate it when I have those. Jeez. You got a cough? Fit? I'm, I don't have a cold or anything. It just, just stuck know, in the, the dry throat. air um, makes me cough. <laughs> yeah. Do sinuses running too? No. Yeah. I think it's staying up there for a while. That's a little cheap. <laughs> Much better. What, what brings you here? Oh, wait, wait. Pinky you know, for a Left a little yeah, sharp. In the center. Yeah. Oh, I had to come. No, thank you. I'm just here yeah. on Abby's behalf to make sure she's treated fairly. Too late. He called me a rabid dog and gave me a month of detention. My decision, my analogy, both stand. Eric, would you care to take a dive in the candy drawer? After your heroics at the Science Olympiad last week. Kit Kat, I'll have a Kit Kat. Yeah, thank you. Maybe we could figure out something like for Abby to science detention. What if she joined the environmental club instead? That's a great idea. Sorry, madame. The loose goose does not escape the moose. <laughs> what? Are you sure we can't work something out? Because Hi, guys. I'm a little tired, so I'm going to watch two more TV shows and then go to bed. I'm just really super tired. I'm not faking either. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna play a couple games here first. We just head straight to the trees. This 
Yeah guys, I'm gonna eat something first and then play a few games. I played the skill shots on that bowling game. There's a challenge and lucky shots. So you'll be seeing a lot of bowling clips and then I'm gonna play that word game and uh, word search. Um, I'll try that golf game and I'll try royal match. So yeah, I don't want to be up too late, you know. I do feel pretty tired. I had to grab some Tylenol from my head. I was aching a little bit. I forgot to show you the hyperlapse. I'm so sorry. It has been a busy, busy day. So that's the end of it. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> And it was up to 67 degrees. Pretty good weather. Pretty good weather. And it's not that dark out yet from my lights, so. Um, it'll be dark around 8.30, so. And about an hour from now around there, I'll be getting ready for bed. I'll be brushing my teeth and stuff, and, um. There won't be any hyperlapse for bedtime, so um, I'll see you Wednesday on the 12th. So I'll be taking two days off from filming and film on the 12th. And I think my Aunt Lenny's birthday is on the 16th, so I'll film that day too, maybe. So, and yeah, um, Shaylee's videos from Google Photos did, um, show up. So, discard what I said earlier in my video. I'm getting real tired of people always pointing guns at me. Put it down. You first! I'm not gonna ask you again. Uh... If you guys are going to shoot each other, why don't you just let Otis and I get out of the way? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Wade well, said you were a tough bitch. Yeah, I bet she did. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Quinn. Do you know where our friends are? Not for certain. Chromax hit us hard and fast. Some were killed. Your friends weren't in the pile. You have to figure they were taken. You two look pretty ragged, so why don't you sit down? Otis, N31. I-29. Round over.
for bed guys it's 8 45 Yeah, I don't know if you can see me, but, um, yeah, I'm in bed already. There's my lights are. My lights. Yeah, I'm pretty tired, guys. I'm gonna call it a night and get going to bed here. That's my video in the background from 2012 it's the april 10th video though that was a tuesday i'm gonna play those quick games oh, it's caught here i'm gonna play those quick games and come on come on Okay, I'm gonna play those quick games and get going to bed here. So, good night, guys. <laughs>
what? You know, just in case, you know, you were confused. So, if you weren't, then you weren't. So, I was in the bathroom when she was talking about coughing fits and stuff. So, plus it was hot in there as all hell and I took a shower earlier. So, alright. Again, this is not a goodbye. I'll see you on the 16th and the 12th and the, I think the 19th, I think. Okay, bye now. Oh, narration. I'll find a narration for you. And whenever I fall asleep, I fall asleep, okay? So you might hear me s snoring. Maybe I snore, maybe I don't. All right. The event ends, and I head back to the car. Put it in reverse and drive up to the meter to pay. Look down to grab my ticket, and it's just gone. Not there. Nothing is in my cup holder. I take a few seconds to look around, but there's nothing. By this time, people are piling up behind me. Everyone had to back up so that I could maneuver out. I pulled around and found a spot on the ramp so that I could figure out where my ticket was. Of course, it's going to be on the floor somewhere between the seat and the center console. Nope. Other side? Nope. Under the seats? Purse? Nope. I know where I put it, but oddly it's just not there, and I'm starting to second-guess myself. She asked me who the lady was and I told her I didn't know. This confused the mother even more. The nurses around me were also looking at me, and they obviously thought I was lying. I realized that it was probably not a good idea for me to tell anyone else about my experience in heaven. When I got home, my mother was eager to know more details about the lady, and she asked me to describe her appearance and characteristics. As I described it, my mother gave a surprised look. Finally, my mother went into the storage room, as if she was looking for something. Has not been seen or heard I from asked. since. Six months after her disappearance, a bag containing some of Christie's clothing items, including a shirt, undergarments, socks, keys, and makeup, was found in a wooded area behind the Crestview Plaza shopping center. The items were in worse condition than the bag, leading investigators to believe that they were placed there after the search. In 1999, the unidentified remains of a female were discovered in a canal west of Boynton Beach, Florida, two years after after Christie's disappearance. Authorities mistakenly identified the body as Christie in January 2001. Christie's family made funeral arrangements, but the burial had not yet taken place when the error was corrected. Initially